एक्स्ट्रा टाइम India might be flying really high following the win over Australia and their wonderful home record having won 28 of the last 35 matches but England also is coming into India with a strong record, strong form you won your last five away matches two in Sri Lanka and three in South Africa South Africa was after losing the first so confident are you guys coming into the series and two strong sides going against each other Yeah we we obviously off the back of those two games we we've gained a huge amount of confidence and um you know we we're, we're very realistic about where we are as a team um you know how we're playing our cricket how we're slowly improving all of the time and we know that this is going to be a huge challenge for us but we're relishing that challenge we're looking forward to it um and we just got to concentrate on on keep you know keep making forward steps as a team um concentrating on what we think is going to be the best way of winning out here and trying to execute that as best as possible um but it you know you want to play against the best teams in the world you want to play uh, and and try and do well in in their own conditions um and you know what others it's a great opportunity for this group um as i say we we've come off the back of a brilliant series and i'm really looking forward to to the next four games for somebody who's played a lot many long innings uh you know uh, what do you make of uh, somebody like a chiteshwar pujara who is equally adept at playing long but then he's not really his role is also about not really being bothered about the scoring rate or you know uh, scoring at a uh, quick pace uh, what do you make of somebody like that then how frustrating is it for the opposition yeah i think he's a fantastic player uh, i had the, the pleasure of playing alongside him for co- only a couple of games at yorkshire uh, and um, you know to learn from him speak to him about batting um, his love of the game it was really interesting So uh, having played against him as well and been on, on the wrong end of him making some some huge scores and um uh, you know being out there for long periods of time you know you, you learn from the, those those kind of innings um and you you've seen his importance the value that he adds to to the Indian team uh, and he's going to be a huge wicket for us there's no doubt about that um it, it, for us it's going to be at, at times it might be that we have to out, try and out patient and play the long game and see if we can be Uh, as mentally strong as he is at the crease you know when we're out there in the field um but we know we know he's a fantastic player um and he's got a fantastic record at home particular so uh, it's going to be a great challenge to to come up against him uh, ashwin is coming into the, into into the series on the back of getting the better of uh, steve smith in australia smith later said that he had allowed ashwin to dictate terms uh, as england's best batsman how crucial will your battle against ashwin be and what sort of approach are you looking to take against him I'll just try and play you know what I see in front of me I think uh I won't you know I won't go out there trying to look to dominate or defend I will just try and play the ball that's delivered and if I do that well enough for a period of time hopefully I'll score some big runs uh, but he's a fine bowler he's got a great record in uh, in India and and he's he's probably full of confidence off the back of that series so um you know I, I've I've played against him before you know I've scored some runs and he's he's probably had the better of me a couple of times as well and it's it's going to be a, a great like little battle within a uh, within the test match so um you know they they're the the contests that you you want to try and get get the better of um but ultimately if you're going to score big runs in 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 any series you're going to have to play all of the bowling well and um just having that, that ball by ball mentality will probably serve me best uh, throughout over the over the years i mean i mean following up on your love for the sp- uh, love for the sweep shot over the years we have been in awe of uh, joe root i mean how joe root employs the sweeps and the paddle sweeps and the reverse sweeps to perfection so india now looks set to go in with three spinners and obviously they'll have some plans in place to negate that your love for sweep shot so are you like planning to stick stick to your strength or do you have any other counter attacking uh, strategy in mind how are you preparing to deal with the spin Yeah I mean it's for me it's a it is a it's quite a lucrative shot if you like it's something that generates a lot of runs for me but I think the conditions and the way that the pitches were in Sri Lanka that was a the lowest risk option for scoring runs um and actually that was my way of managing the field uh, and combating what they had to to offer it might be that there's more bounce it might be that um you know there's not as much turn and it becomes a more dangerous shot and out here and I might have to find a different way of scoring runs but I suppose that's the art of batting is trying to implement a game and a strategy of scoring runs on different surfaces so that the challenge here will be assessing what's right in front of us 
assessing the, the the attack that they they pick and then just trying to pick it apart and, and find a way of scoring runs. And it might be that I don't have to sweep as, as much or I choose not to sweep as much, but I have to find a different way of scoring my runs. And you know that's the beauty of batting. That's the, the thing that I really enjoy about it is that you can't just bank on one way of doing things all the time. You have to look to get better. You have to look at different ways of scoring runs and, and manipulating the field and, and trying to get on top of the bowler. Um, and, you know, when you come across one of the best sides in the world, especially in their own conditions like India, that challenge is, is something that I'm really looking forward to. Losing Zach Crawley so close to the start of his first test. How big a setback is that for you and who bats at three now? Yeah, it's, um, it's really frustrating and really frustrating for Zach in particular. Real freak in incident where, you know, walking out the change room, slipped over uh, and, and landed on his wrist. So um, hard for him to take, especially off the back of, um, you know, trying to get as, as best prepared as possible for this series. Uh, and of course, you know, it means that we, we have to look at um, things from a selection point of view. I think from as a more general thing, I think everything's on the table in terms of selection. We'll weigh everything up when we get to the ground, look at the conditions, look at the surface again and try and have real clarity going into the game. So would you consider moving up to three? Uh, there's a number of different things we've got. We've got some brilliant players, brilliant options to choose from. Um, you know, we look at the balance of the side and things as well. Um, but, you know, there, there'll all be things that we'll discuss you know, over the course of today and make sure that we're really happy with the team that we take into the game tomorrow. And how are Jofra Arch and Ben Stokes looking? Are they fully fit from what you've seen for selection? Yeah, I mean, I had the, the pleasure of, well, I say ple pleasure, I mentioned this to, um, last night, the, the, the displeasure almost of facing Jofra in the nets yesterday. He bowled extreme with, with great pace, um, looked look right at the top of his game. So really excited to see him where he's at. And, and it's always great to have Ben back in around the, the group. Um, you know that he's going to, come back in and give absolutely everything to, to the team. Um, so I think it would always give a huge lift having that amount of talent um, in and around the squad. Uh, so very excited for them both to, to be in and around things again and you know looking forward to get going. And just finally for me, have you had a chance to look at that pitch then and, and see what the conditions might be like? Yeah, I had a brief look at it. Um, not, have, not been able to get uh, too close to it. We've been sort of held at arm's length a little bit, but... It's not the it's not the prettiest wicket um, that I've ever seen, uh, but we all know that that doesn't mean uh, you know, it doesn't tell you a huge amount. It's it's going to be uh, well, history would suggest here that it is going to be a good wicket for the majority of the game. Spin will come into it, uh, but there hasn't been a huge amount of cricket in the last you know, four four years or five years here, even first class cricket in the last year and a half or so. So I think it's really important that we go into the game with um, you know an open mind uh, and we play what's right in front of us. So. Um, so, yeah, I think that that's going to be a real key component of things is, is making sure that we adapt to, to what's, what, you know, what we see when that first ball comes down uh, on Friday. What's your exact preparation the night before and the morning of a massive series for England? Um, I just try and relax as much as I can. I think naturally you will always think about there might be selection um, questions in your own mind if, you've, if you're not clear on the team. Um, going into the, that, that final day. But most of the time, it, it's just about having that all, all done and, and, and getting real clarity and all of that and then just being able to, to switch off and, and give yourself um, a chance to um, you know, away from the game. Sometimes I'll play the guitar, sometimes I'll watch a, a series on, um, on an iPad or whatever. Uh, and sometimes you know, I'll, I'll want to, to watch some cricket if there's... Those games going on around the world. Um, I'm a I'm a big cricket fan, a bit of a badger. So, um, you know, anything really just to, to keep me nice and relaxed and calm is is all I'll try and do. With reference to, to Zach's um, injury, you know, obviously it's it's a it's a blow to plans. But do you look at things like India in Australia just recently and and sort of take a view that. It's, it opens up a door and a chance for somebody who probably wasn't going to play to to do something special because that's that's obviously something in India embraced when they had a few struggles with injuries uh, in Australia. Yeah, I think a lot of sides around the world will look at that that series um, that's just happened in Australia and take huge amount of confidence from it. Um, I think you know huge credit to India for going there and winning. It's a very difficult place to go and win. We all know that, um, but it also I think. 
should, you know, go, uh, teams will see that and will see that, you know, it is possible to go and win away from home. Um, and there is a, a lot of pressure on sides hosting. It'll be the same when we turn up in, in England and, and we host some, some brilliant sides coming over. There, there is a bit of pressure around that. And you know, we should embrace that challenge. You should, that should excite us. That's, that's, you know, there, there's so many great opportunities that come with that. And as a, as a side and as individual players, when you're given that opportunity to play, you've just got to try and maximise that opportunity. Uh, really try and make that count. And, and one thing that we have had more recent passes is, is that competition for places, a uh, bit more depth within our squad and not heavily reliant on on um, certain individuals, which might have been the case a few years ago. So it's really it's really exciting time for the team. And um, you know, guys have just got to really grasp those opportunities if they get them. Uh, I just wanted to ask you about Jack Leach and Dom Best. There has been a lot of talk about these two, but do you think Moin Ali can be the real X factor when it comes to spin looking at his record against India? I think it's, it's great that all three of them are, are fit and available uh, for selection. I think that uh, as a whole bowling group, it's going to be really important that we all work together, um, not single out spinners and, and separate the seamers away from them. I think collectively, it's going to be really important that we all um, play our part and that actually we, we look at things in partnerships. We look at how, as a bowling group, we're going to take 20 wickets in these conditions uh, and not put pressure on individuals to you know, try and win games on their own. Um, uh, that, that's going to be the main the main mentality for, for us throughout this series. Um, and individually, the, the responsibility will be come on to those guys if given the chance to play and if the ball's thrown to them, you know, do your job as best as you can uh, f- for that spell. Uh, pass the spell on to the next guy. Keep building pressure all the time, creating as many chances as you can um, and keep working together as a unit. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.